Good morning, Karen. Good morning, Joe. You ready to do this? I am. Let's go. Let's do this. Woo! Yeah, 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 yeah. Good morning, Ray. You're holding door for us. Thank you. Hey, let's, Ray. Let's get the show started. Let's go. Hi, I'm Karen. And I'm Joe. And welcome to What's, What's Happening. Happenin'? And today, you're going to have a nice little treat because today Karen is going to share some really cool things with you. She's going to show, uh, show you how to use Hello Crayon, which is a great way to draw and do nice little pictures that you can integrate into digital stories. And you will not be limited just to uh, reading projects, but you can also use it for math, science, social studies. It's just a way of uh, quickly drawing some stories that you can bring into to your stories. And also with this app, that's really cool. With this app, you can also um, uh, you can couple it with another app called the Eraser. But that's on a different day, and she'll teach you how to use the Eraser. Uh, what was it called again? Background Eraser. Background Eraser, right? <laughs> and so with that one, you can erase the outside, so you can have just the the, the, the images and bring them into it. So right now, I'm going to pass it over to Karen, so she can show you how to use the Hello Crayon. And by the way, it's not the only one. There's also a series of Hello stuff, like Hello Color Pencil, Hello Oil Painter, and so on, and Hello Chalk. So you go to Karen. Thanks, Joe. As Joe was mentioning, I'm going to share an app with you called Hello Crayon. The best thing about it is that this app is free. Of course, anytime you're using a drawing app with students, it doesn't really matter which app you choose. We just happen to be sharing this one because it's free. And so I want to take you over to my iPad and share with you Hello Crayon. It looks just like this. This is the free version of it. Of course, there's an upgrade that comes with many more colors. And so down here, you'll notice uh, the different tools that I can use. And one is a medium crayon. These are my choices of crayons that I can use. So what's neat about this app is that um, just like paper and pencil in the classroom, your students can um, illustrate a setting, characters, anything that you might normally have them do with paper and pencil. They can do that here on the iPad. Um, and you can create yourself a nice digital drawing that they can use um, for digital storytelling or, again, to submit a response. The other neat thing about digital drawings is that if a student creates something here, it can be posted on the web, and it can be shared on your classroom website. So here I'm drawing my beautiful frog. Over here in the top, you're going to notice that I have some different choices. I get all my menus back. And down here, just by selecting my crayon, I can choose the crayon. One of my favorite features about this drawing app that some other drawing apps don't have is the fill can, just like paint on a computer, right? So I finished drawing my nice little frog, but coloring him in might take a while. So I'm going to go ahead and choose the color I want to fill him with. And then just go ahead and touch, and it fills in my frog. Yay! So just like that, I have a creature um, that I can use now to submit after I read my story about the princess and the frog. And I can also now create a nice little digital story in part three of the series when we use EduCreation. So let me get back to my choices here. Notice at the top, OK? Very easy if I want to create a new drawing new, if I want to open old one. But my favorite is save, right? I can actually save this to my camera roll. So I'm going to click Save. And you'll notice I have several options. But for me as a teacher, I, I want to go ahead and take this picture and put it on my computer or um, save it and, and uh, add it to my website. Or if I want to use it for a digital story, I'm going to click Save to Photo Album. And I can go back and find this picture saved here onto my iPad. So in the classroom, if um, draw a drawing activity happens to be one of the center ideas or something that a student is doing independently, remember they can save it to the camera roll, write their name on it, and you'll know exactly who created that product. So I'm going to hit my home button here real quick. And I'm going to show you where it is in my photos. Uh, if I get, there we go. Photos right up here. Photos. And you'll see that I drew a couple little frogs here before. But this happens to be the frog that I just illustrated right now. It's in my photos, and I can use it. Now, if you like Hello Crayon, uh, I just want you to know that in the App Store, I did find four other free apps for drawing. So you can change it up a little bit, um, of course, if we're talking about different mediums for um, drawing. So I'm going to go to my App Store and just show you real quick. If you go to the search up at the top, so maybe go to Featured, and then search, type in Hello Crayons or Hello Color Pencil. These are the choices that I got when I typed in Hello Crayon. You'll see there's free Hello Color Pencil, 
Hello Chalk, and a Hello Oil Painter. So kind of nice to know if you're looking for free drawing tools that you can use with your students. Um, the full paid version, you'll notice, has two rows of crayons here, whereas the free version just came with a couple crayons that could uh, start with. So a really nice free app to get you started on um, drawing digitally in your classroom. Just as another way to do something different in the classroom rather than paper and pencil, we can use our iPads to get that same uh, product in a digital format. So that's all for Hello Crayon. Of course, you can find our other episodes, the other two that are going to be in our series here, on the EPISD TV Studio, our YouTube page. Go ahead and like and subscribe to that YouTube page. You'll also find us on Facebook and Twitter. Thank you for joining us for today's episode. It would look something similar to this. Several pieces of music, right?